Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Nuclear Throne. We are jumping in again and this time I'm going to go as Hunter. Whoa! Whoa! This Hunter fucking skin sprite's amazing. Holy shit, who did that? That looks awesome. <laughs> I was not expecting that. That looks amazing. My goodness. We do not have a lot of uh, weapons unlocked for this guy, but starting with a pop gun, starting with a pop gun does let us do some shenanigans with shotgun shoulders right off the bat. That would be very, very nice for us. Okay, let's jump in and see what we can get going on here. I think the last few episodes I've kind of played like absolute booty cheeks. So I'm going to I'm gonna really try to be better this time. I say that literally as I get instantly hit right off the rip. Ignore that hit. Ignore that hit. We'll uh, we'll we'll just we'll just play well. Uh, I think plutonium hunger's a really good start. To that we also got the pop rifle. Is the pop rifle better than the pop gun? It's literally just the the same, but it's a three round burst, right? Like I don't know if the damage is any different. Like let, let, let's check the pair bullet damage here. So we got like nine there. Okay, so I think it is slightly better. Although that might just be because more bullets hit. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. Either way, it seems decent. It seems decent. You know. You know the, the drill. You know the drill. We we go through, we fight Big Bird, as I'm going to call him from now on. I could also do this, actually. I need I need to do this. Like, you get the auto-aim feature if you uh, lock on. I don't use it very often, as, as you guys tend to know. I don't use abilities very often, because I'm kind of a fool. Um, we'll take Tough Shell here as well. Ooh, Slugger. Do you know what? I'm going to take the Slugger in case we do get Shotgun Shoulders here. Do you know, I don't know if one of the um, if one of the Ultras does do this, but it'd be really good if one of the Ultras just made it so they are automatically, as soon as you, once you'd locked onto one enemy in the stage, as soon as you, like, killed an enemy, it just auto-locks to the nearest enemy. Uh, that'd be kind of nice, although I can see that potentially being problematic if you want to fire at something further away, if it's more pressing, but... Eh. I'm, it's, it's something that I'm willing to sacrifice, but I'm pretty sure our Ultra, uh, not Ultra, our um, Throne Butt makes it so that... Um, if we target an enemy, they take more damage, I think. Something like that. There you go. Good stuff. Good stuff. It's you that's bloody summoning everything, isn't it? Right, okay. Not too bad. Not too bad. Um, so, do we want to take shotgun shoulders here is the question? Or do we want to go for something a little more, I don't know, useful? <laughs> shotgun shoulders is really good, but... Um, it's, just, it's one of those I, uh, one of those ones where it's kind of like, it's a bit sketch, because you kind of are committing to using shotguns or pop weapons the entire run, otherwise it's kind of a weighted mutation, and it's not always plausible to do that. Right, I, I've made a mistake here, I'm probably gonna die. I've made a, a hefty, hefty error in judgement. It's okay, it's okay, I managed to escape. Right, let's, let's try and take you out with, uh, the slugger, shall we? Nah. A targeting, adding the targeting on is actually really, really screwing us right now because we're shooting the wrong enemy. Okay, we did manage to get it. I always forget that this version just has less HP in general. It makes it a lot easier, but not easy by any means. Okay, we can just kind of go. Let's do that then, shall we? Right, okay. What do we want here? So, I guess a shotgun shoulders would be fun. Um, with it being fun, I might just do it. <laughs> if it's fun, why not? Why would I deprive myself of fun? Okay. Sniper boys, I'm gonna need you to uh, chill the hell out. Slugger's not the best weapon for shotgun shoulders, really, but it's, it's okay. We'll go with that, thank you. I, I think I have a weapon chest left on the stage, don't I? No, maybe not. Where's the weapon chest? Oh, it was right here. Okay. I just opened it and didn't notice. I'm a fool. Okay, we'll take our slugger. Uh, okay, we've got a splinter gun. Not the best. Oh, man. I am taking some dumb hits right now. It's okay, though. We made it through. We made it through. By the way, are you guys, like, okay with the fact that I basically do the same strat every single run? I, I know that, like, I don't know if you guys find it boring when I always go to the same areas and I always pick the same crown, or if you'd, like, rather me try and mix it up a bit more. I'd, I'd like to get some input on that. I'd like to hear what you guys think, because, I don't know, it'd just be interesting to know if there's other things you want to see me doing. I, re I realize as well there's some, like, alternate game modes that I haven't really touched. Um, I should probably try them out at some point. 
Okay, gotta remember the micro missiles. The micro missiles aren't actually as bad as I, I always make out because they don't have a lot of range. Like we have better range than they do typically, but they're just annoying because even with the little circle around them, they're so goddamn hard to see. Double disc gun. Um, what we got going on here? That's kind of sketchy. <laughs> We'll grab that for now. I'm sure we can get another shotgun soon. Um, I could go with Heavy Heart. Could be kind of good. At the same time, it could also be absolutely terrible. Um, so what we got going on at the minute? We got some defense stuff. Inner Peace is obviously amazing. We could take Inner Peace. Um... A little bit tricky, this. A little bit tricky. Uh, we could take flexible elbows, to be fair. I'm going to take flexible elbows, you know. Faster reload speeds is very, very nice. Um, and the, the the smacking of the actual arm is honestly insane. I love it. So we'll take this. Look at that. <laughs> I missed that enemy and it bonked off the wall into another enemy. That's beautiful stuff. Right, what are you going on here for us? Triple machine gun. Not the best right now for us. Yeah, the, the fact that the flexible elbows, like, smack as well, the fact that it, like, has, it can hit multiple enemies in one smack is, is real, real good. Heavy crossbow, heavy crossbow's only quality four, man. That weapon carries in vanilla. <laughs> or at least I remember it carrying pretty hard. Did that actually bring that with me? I don't know if it did. Um, go with Puffy Cheeks. I don't take Puffy Cheeks very often either. And I'm going to go for another one of these on this. Although, I already had three mutations. So I just swapped. Ah, that was stupid. I just swapped one for one. Do you know that would be kind of cool? If you pick up two of the same mutation in the same slot, it'd like power it up. But then again, that might be a little strong. But that'd be kind of cool though. If you could like power up a mutation. Explosive Crossbow. I will take that as my secondary for right now. It's pretty good. The Penetrator. Now, Explosive Crossbow is better, I think. Especially at a distance like this. Ow. Although, Scythe. Can you chill out, my guy? Holy hell. I'm going to take the Scythe because I want a bit of protection in my back pocket. Although, that icon does not look like a Scythe. <laughs> Ain't going to lie. Um, Let's go with Strong Spirit here. We don't take that anywhere near enough. Definitely need some higher fire rate on this bad boy. I love doing melee with flexible elbows. It just feels so right. <laughs> Triple pop gun. I think that shall be our next uh, our next good weapon here. Is that an auto grenade launcher? That it is. Um, I'm going to put flame on this bad boy, I think. Slugger, I know and love you, but you are not. You are not my destiny. On this day, you are not my destiny. It's really nice having puffy cheeks, actually, with a melee weapon. Being able to get, like, three quick strikes out. Right. Yeah, because we got the triple, and we don't really need eagle eyes to make the triple super valuable, because we've got all this going on. The only downside at the minute... Ooh, heavy screwdriver is good. The only downside at the minute is, um... Of course, we are pretty strapped for ammo for the most part. That's going to pretty much constantly be an issue for us until we get something to alleviate that. Triple assault rifle. Do you know what would be really, really nice? Do you know how, like, when you pick up certain weapons, it'll give, like, a tagline? Like, like it with the explosive crossbow. It'd be nice if when you picked up a weapon, or even when you just hovered over it like this, do you know how it says, like, uh, quality six, name, and then the ammo type? It'd be really nice if it had, like, an icon here um, where it would say, like, you have, uh, like, you have shotgun shoulders, it will work with this gun, or you have, um, bolt marrow, it will work with this gun, some sort of icon to indicate. It's not necessary, but it would be kind of nice, just, just so you, at a quick glance, I think one of the main ones for me that it would help with is, um, Tail's End, the one that makes, um, burst guns better. 
and charge guns. I think it'd be really helpful to know for that one specifically, but also you might as well just do it for all the others. Um, like when they're going to affect a gun, but it'd be nice if it did it while it was on the floor so you didn't have to pick them up. But I know that might be a lot of work, so I'm not suggesting it's something that the developer has to do. It's just a, a little idea that would uh, help some readability of the game and uh, some of the mutations. So I think there's a lot of weapons that, like, for example, I might have Tails End and I might pass them up because I don't think about them being a burst weapon or I don't think about them being um, a, a charge weapon. And so I miss out on some potential really powerful combination. It'd be good to have, like, the game kind of tell me, hey, this might be quite good with what you have right now. But then again, I suppose that in itself is like a skill gap sort of thing. You don't want to give the, the player too much freedom with that, I guess. Go with Ecstatic Fists here. Like, uh, uh, on, on some on some sort of side of it, you do want the player to be kind of figuring all that out on their own. So I kind of get it why it doesn't have it, but I don't know. Think about it. Let me know in, in, the, in the comments if you guys like that idea. Oh, hello. Let's uh, get our pop gun. I'm trying to save the pop gun for when we really need it, just because the ammo consumption is so high. Super crossbow. How are you still alive, man? How much health do you have? There you go. I was going to say, he must have been nearly dead. Shall we go through to the uh, the area? I think we shall. I think we shall. What are we offering up? Tough shell. Flexible elbows and exact fist. Okay, I'm not too bothered about that at all. Um, what should we take here? I'm going to take eagle eyes just to make this gun a little more usable at range. Not that we need it, but... Also, the, the, the slight herming we gain is really nice. I need to be using my ability a little more often, though. I'm not really using it, like, at all at the minute, and it's not ideal. It would make our life a bit easier at range to utilize it. Okay, good. I absolutely love the design of this area. I say it every time I come here, but I just I can't understate enough how cool this area is. Ooh, you tried it. You tried it, biatch. Not having it happen today. Ooh, that was stupid. It's okay, it's only a small hit. Fireline. Ooh, do I do I use the fireline here? The fireline could be really, really good. Bounce across, but I'm gonna I'm gonna take the fireline right now. I just think it's gonna be better than the melee. It's just like that AoE ability. Oh, damn, we need some healing pretty bad. Lovely. Managed to heal up a little bit there. Can you guys die? There you go. Took a little bit of doing that, did, didn't it? Okay, good. I feel like we always hit Ultra in this area. Does this area just give, like, insane rads, or is it just because of where it shows up in the game progression? Yeah, not particularly confident with our current ammo situation, I'll be honest. Toxic Dragon. That could be amazing. Let me, let me just fire that and see. Oh, damn. Okay. I'm going to stick with the fire lot and... No, I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with it. I might kill myself with it, but I'm gonna try it. Right, let's see how the boss does. I'm not particularly confident here, but we do have the scythe if we run out of ammo. I'm mainly not confident because of our ammo situation here. But at least we know we can just lock on and, and not have to worry about aiming. We can just worry about uh, dodging. There you go. Are you going to fire poison at me if I fire poison at you? No, you're not. You're firing missiles at me because I'm using missile ammo. I see. Oh, you use melee too? Okay. Cheeky. Okay. We got through that just about. Regal Vision is going to be press F while an enemy is marked to toggle walls between you and the enemy for two seconds. Projectiles shot through walls. Dis shot through through disabled walls, get a 25% damage boost. That's kind of an interesting idea. 
and we get our thingy mute. By the way, as well, it'd be really, really nice if um, I could get a list of which ones of these I'm missing, because I really don't know. <laughs> I need to unlock all of them, but I don't know which ones I'm missing at the moment. It'd be kind of nice if there was like a little question mark above the ones that you're missing, um, so that we, we knew which ones we were missing, because I'd love to unlock all of them. Um, I think on this character I've got them all, but some characters I don't. Right, um, let's have a little look-see here. So, the further away you are from an enemy, the more damage you deal. Uh, that's pretty good. Um, your projectiles hermit on enemies, all your projectiles hermit on your mark. That's really good. All your weapons are hit scan plus 80% accuracy, 100% with eagle eyes. Now, that's pretty interesting. Um, nah, that's not good. Uh, replace your active with sniper's eye. The eye stuns and breaks walls. Damage increase with each pierce. Power slowly scales. Power scales faster if you have thrown, but fully charged eye destroys any projectiles. I think I'm going to go with this one. See how that goes. Well, at the minute, we do not have a good setup. This is fun. <laughs> Ooh, bullet crash could be p particularly interesting. Auto flare gun and bullet crash, maybe? Or gatling slugger? <laughs> yeah. Bullet crash with 100% accuracy is nuts. <laughs> the ammo consumption, though, is, uh, is quite something. Give me that, baby. Let's go to the courtyard. Not got a lot of ammo to work with here, so I'm a bit wary of this decision, but... We do have an auto flare gun with hit scan, which seems pretty special. Blood launcher shotgun. Seems pretty good. I'd splinter on that bad boy, why not? This seems pretty amazing so far. Cool. Oh, what on earth was going on there? That's a new effect that I haven't seen before, at least. Auto splinter gun. Right, let me just take out some of these. <laughs> oh my god! Absolutely demolished him! Holy! Okay, I'm in a terrible spot here. Laser minigun would probably be pretty good right now. God damn, this crash weapon's insane. <laughs> I didn't think how good crash weapons would be with 100% accuracy, but... The hit scan obviously helps too, but the, I think the 100% accuracy is what's making it. This weapon as well is, is pretty gnarly. <laughs> that's absolute insanity. That's, that, that's the fastest I've ever seen that guy die. Like, the ammo consumption is is honestly absolutely absurd, but that's really good. Ooh, dude, melee hit scan? I am curious. I am curious. As, as much as I love this, the ammo consumption is crazy, we need a melee weapon. Where the hell are the rest of the enemies here, then? Where are we meant to be going? Hmm. Have I broken the stage by killing the boss too fast? What's happening here? Because there's not even an icon for, like, where the enemy should be. Hmm. Please don't tell me that I've bugged this run. This is a really good run. <laughs> Do I just wander off into the abyss and hope for the best? Yes. <laughs> Okay. 
going on a walk in the rainy, rainy, whatever. Damn it! I think we killed him literally too fast. Well then. So, at least from what I know, there isn't any failsafe for, like, like, in, in The Binding of Isaac, if you get stuck in a room because you can't, like, kill an enemy or something, the door will eventually open and just let you out. I don't think any such thing exists in Nuclear Throne where, like, the portal just opens after a certain amount of time. Might be worth adding something like that, but I don't see what else we have left to kill. I'm gonna go back and just make sure. I really want to see how this melee weapon works with hitscan. It seems like it just gives it crazy range, right? Yeah, the crown guy died there, and the second one, the, the, the little dude died here, and this guy- Oh wait, now I've got to pick up the crown, haven't I? Where the hell is it? There it is! Okay. I, I realized. <laughs> I realized after a second I've got to pick up the crown. Um, what might we want to take here? I don't really know. Um, we have plutonium hunger, right? Yeah, we do. So it might be worth taking... Um, Which one is it? Yeah, there you go. Right. That was almost really silly of me. Light Lightning SMG is tier 12. Wow. Okay. I wouldn't have expected that. It must be really good. Dude, 100 ammo in this. It's going to kill him fast, but goddamn. Okay, unfortunately it's really, really hard to destroy projectiles with a melee weapon like this. But, that went well. Still though, this thing's kind of amazing, the rapier here. I've got 26 bullets, which is like, fire, yeah, I fired it literally twice. It's really, really hard to destroy anything. You kind of can, but also kind of can't. Hello, good sir. Thank you for that. Plus one crown. Ooh, can I have three crowns? Excuse me. I can get another... Wait, what? How does this work? <laughs> I got plus one crown twice. I don't know how that works, but I have... What is this? Replace your active with rewind. Reset time to the start of the current area. Can be used once each area. Ooh, yes, that sounds good. Um, and then, what else? Let's try that out. <laughs> we have four crowns, baby. That's a cool idea. I, I like the ability to just add a crown. Oh my god, I used it by accident. I did not mean to do that. I reset time. If I could turn back time. If I could find a way. I need a better secondary. This this rapier is good, but it's it, like the accuracy on it is causing us problems. I, I actually can't believe how much damage that crash weapon does. It's absolute insanity. It's It's honestly just beautiful. That's another crash weapon. Oh, it went through the portal, though. Right, what tier is our crash weapon? Bullet crash, micro crash. Nah, the, the, the bullet crash seems better than the micro crash. <laughs> My crown army. I love that they added that. That's so cool. Ghetto blaster. Is that a melee weapon of some kind? Oh my god, that's a lot of grenades, baby. It's a lot of grenades. I need to get in the van again and try and complete that area. 
But I need a better melee weapon before I do that. I need one that's going to actually protect me more often. Heavy jackhammer. <laughs> that's really cool. Oh. <laughs> Super director slugger. You don't say. This is a good setup so far. Let's not bungle this. Come on, crown army. I can kill enemies that are outside my visual range, which is kind of nice. Hyper Gatling Bazooka. Holy sugar. <laughs> I love that it's so easy to blow up the van. Like any boss, just stand before my crash weapon and be demolished. Plasma laser rifle. Um, eh. Eh. Why did we not fight um, Mom there? Or did I did I kill her and just not notice? There's also the certain chance I did that too. Big assassin. Yeah, big assassin, you're dead. Van. I do need to go in that at some point, but right now, I'm all about just instantly destroying it. I gotta remember that my ability uh, is a rewind, so if I get really low health, I can rewind and redo the uh, the area. Frost dragon. Inverted area, yes, please. Ooh, this was a a mistake. Oh god, mistakes have been made. Get back. Toxic minigun. God damn, there's some crazy weapons at the moment. Give me a better melee weapon with a wider radius to it, please. Heavy Cuba Revolver. That's a tier 18. As much as I love this, I'm going to try that out. I'm going to try it. Give it a bash. Double. Double explosive on that bad boy. Hey, where the hell did you come from, big sir? Right. Let's have a little look, see what's going on over here. Boom bow. And boom bow. Only two of them done. I'll get this done one day. I've done it once before, but that was like many, many patches ago. Um, Is there any transformations I'll go for? I don't think I'm quite ready to do that anyways, to be honest. I don't even know how good this weapon is going to be. That guy just stole so much ammo from me. Oh, I forget the Cuba weapons can shoot through walls. Okay, this is kind of great. Yeah, the damage isn't quite as crazy, but I think the safety-wise and ammo consumption-wise, it's probably better for us. Forget how nuts this guy is. Fat, fat machine gun. Pierces. Hmm. I'm going to try that out. I'm swapping weapons quite a lot here, but piercing weapons? I don't know, that sounds pretty goddamn good to me. Sounds pretty goddamn good. It's like, there's just so much going on here. So many enemies that, like, something that pierces seems really good. Quadruple pop gun there. We have the shotgun shoulders. We have the technology to make this work. B 
boom array. Who needs piercing when you can literally cover an entire area? I think I'm getting a bit screwed over by my uh, my stuff uh, disappearing faster crown. So stuff is literally disappearing before I can even get to it, even with... Uh... I'm going to have to twitch up my crowns, I think. This stuff's disappearing way before I can get to it. Micro launcher shotgun. Micro launcher shotgun. Could be good. I'm gonna stick with this for now though. Sniper, get out of here. Right, we got a crown vault open over here, I think, so let's let's switch up our crowns. I have four crowns to pick. Okay, get get rid of that one. Wait. Yeah, get rid of that one. Just take off all of our crowns for now. Right, let's have a look see. So I'm still I'm still happy with that. I'm gonna go with that, that could be good. Oh wait, what? I only have three crowns now. What happened to my other crowns? You're not, dude, you didn't die from that? Yeah, die, big boy. Yeah, the, the ammo... <clears throat> the ammo situation is way better now. Triple heavy assault rifle. Yes. Yes, please. This this crown that gives us higher tier stuff. I think I got rid of that by accident as well. Yeah, look, I've only got three crowns now, definitely. Where the hell did my fourth crown go? It's kind of rude to just take that away from me. I earned that. I paid for it, should I say. Holy fuck. I am very near death. Let's redo. <laughs> Yeah, it looks stuff like this, these little saw blades I can't hit easily. Golden Bazooka, I think we already had that though. Splinter Storm. Throw that on it. I've got to try out the Splinter Storm. Ho ho ho, baby. Right, hold up. Go go back here again. Excuse me? Um Okay, no, I do have four. I do have four. What are my crowns? What are my crowns? That's oh, I've got one of them's random? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. No, 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 no. That could be. If that randomizes each area, that could be honestly terrible. Right. Where the hell's random? Get that the hell off of me. What is going on? Where am I. Where are my selected crowns? Right. I want that one. Oh, dude, this is so annoying. Just... I'm gonna redo that area straight away, because I balls it up immediately. This is... this is death. This is it. This is how I die. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. But I hope you guys enjoyed that one. That was very fun. That crown situation was 
very confusing. I, I had four crowns, then I had three, but I wasn't able to pick all four. Like, th what the hell was going on there? I don't even know. Either way, that's cool. I like that new idea of being able to pick extra crowns. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.